Today we're going to change the oil on this 1986 Honda Nighthawk 450. The tools we're going to need for this job are a 3 8 drive ratchet, a couple of extensions with a 17 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, three quarts of motorcycle oil, the filter, the drain pan which you can already see under the bike, and probably a few rags. The first thing you want to do is get the motorcycle up to operating temperature. You want to make sure that the engine is warm before you drain the oil. It helps get all the oil out and any contaminants in the oil. Now that we're warmed up, we're ready to drain the oil. I'm on the right hand side of the bike, right near the rear brake pedal. It's been on there for a while. See that the oil is draining. We're going to wait for all of the oil to drain out of the engine. We're now going to take the 12 millimeter socket and remove the oil filter. Some oil will drain as we loosen the filter housing. All right, so the filter is out and it's on my workbench. This is going to be a good time if you had your rags ready. Uh, the filter is just spring loaded. Take your filter out. It's a good time to just examine the inside. I'm going to clean it using some carburetor cleaner or WD-40 and then uh, make sure I just dry it out real well. I want to make sure that my seal area is clean, free of debris. And before you toss your old filter, it's a good idea to just take the new one that you get just to verify that the uh, dimensions are the same on the two filters. Now that our new filter is in place with a new seal, I'm going to put it back up under the engine. The oil filter has been installed, the drain plug has been put back in. And now I've removed the oil filler cap and I'm going to use a clean funnel in order to add oil. Make sure that you're using motorcycle oil for the wet clutch to protect it. Now I know lots of people run automotive oil in their bikes. If you choose to do that, use oil that says on the back that it is not energy conserving. If it says energy conserving near the API symbol, you should not use that for wet clutch. The manual calls for 2.6 quarts of oil to be added. The oil has been added, now I'm going to put the dipstick back in. I'm going to let the bike sit for a minute, just wait for the oil to drain down and then check the stick. My reading looks good, now I'm going to start the bike, let it run for a few minutes and then recheck the dipstick. Alright, so everything's been done. I've checked the oil level again. It's fine. It's ready to ride.